Hello, everyone. Welcome to our talk. This is a question and answer session for NIW provided by New Wei Ming Law Group. So you can contact us for more information. Hello, Dan. Well, I am a researcher, a scientist, a professional in the United States, and I want to obtain a U.S. green card for me and my family. Can you help me? Thank you, my mom, for that question. Uh, you can consider National Interest Waiver, or as we refer to it, NIW, which is a popular and convenient pathway for individuals like you to obtain U.S. permanent residency or a green card. Do I need a permanent job offer in the U.S. to support my application? And do I need to have a H-1B visa already? No need to worry about those three questions. Very simply, the answer to all three questions is no. You can self-petition. You do not need to have an existing job offer, and you certainly do not need to receive the go-ahead from your employer first. You can apply while you're in a number of different statuses, H-1B, F-1, J-1, or other visa status, or even apply from outside the U.S. However, you do need to meet certain requirements in order to qualify for NIW. Okay. What kind of such requirements? There's really three different requirements that you need to qualify for under National Interest Waiver. Let me go through them. First, if you're a researcher or scientist, usually you need to have an advanced degree, either a master's degree or a doctorate degree. If you don't have either of those and a bachelor's degree, you need the bachelor's degree plus five years of experience or exceptional ability, but not always. In addition, you need to meet a three-pronged test as specified by the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service. I see. Well, in this case, I do have an advanced degree. So, what are the three prompts that you mentioned? First, you work on the research in which you are involved, namely your proposed endeavor, as we call it, needs to have substantial merit and be of national importance to the United States. It needs to demonstrate to have some impact on the United States that is important to its national interests. Second, you must be well positioned to further advance the proposed endeavor. This is often demonstrated through past accomplishments, as well as recognition by experts in your field. Finally, on balance, the USIS needs to determine that approving your NIW application supports the national interest of the United States. So those are the three prongs, as we refer to them, or three criteria that you need to meet. Okay, okay, I see. So next question, how long it normally takes for me and my family members to receive a U.S. green card through this NIW pathway? Well, of course, like many things with applying for a green card, uh, it's on a case-by-case -case basis. In general, if you or your spouse were born in any other country but India or China, uh, generally it could take up to 12 to 18 months uh, from the date you submit the NIW application. So how about family members? Can I add my spouse and children to this green card application? Yes, you may. Let me explain how you can accomplish that. There's two steps. The first step is to fill out the NIW I-140 form, which is for the individual application. Then your wife and children, if they were born outside of the United States, can file an I-485 adjustment of status together with you to get the U.S. green card. I-485 application generally can be filed at the same time or concurrently with your NIW I-140 or at any time the, the NIW I-140 is pending or after the I-140 is approved based on your preference. Please refer to our extensive YouTube video library for more information and explanations of this process. Okay, so we have talked about time. How about money? How much it will cost for me and my family members to obtain the U.S. green cards? Again, it's by a case-by-case -case basis, as you can appreciate. The U.S. government, for its charges, charges $700 for the NIW I-140 and $1,225 per adult for the I-485. We usually charge several thousand dollars, highly competitive in this area. You will also be responsible for some third-party fees that include things like medical exam, photos, among other requirements. Okay, that's great. So now I know the basic requirements and other basic information. How do I know then whether I, myself, qualify for NIW? Will your law firm help me to prepare and file this application? How will you help me to get NIW approved? 
We will describe more details in the next session, so stay tuned. We will be providing additional important and informative information on this. Let me just make a few comments that I think will be helpful for the time being. We've helped thousands of people who are interested in researchers, scientists, and professionals like you from all over the world, 40 different countries, to obtain their NIW EB1 approvals for the immigration. In addition, we have a very strong team. And this was what really distinguishes the UAMA from other firms that are doing this kind of work in the immigration area. We have a team of highly qualified PhDs, very much unlike other law firms in the area. Many of them have gone through the green card process themselves. And so they understand, they can empathize with many of our clients because those clients are in the same situation as they were when they applied. So they have personal experience, they also have the research background, and they understand specifically about how to prepare these green card applications. We're also multilingual and have the ability to ensure that we respond adequately, professionally, to all of our clients. Now, in terms of, uh, to find out whether or not you qualify, you can get a free evaluation by sending us an email to info at nwmlaw.com or visit our website. Okay, so last question for this session. Well, when do you think is the best time to file an IW or other immigration petition for U.S. permanent residency? Is there any reason that I should wait? A very simple and straightforward answer is now. Regardless of the ebb and flow of immigration policy, which you see in the news, the right time to act on your goals and objectives for immigration is now. Once you start the process, fill out the application, work with us, and submit the application, the clock then starts, and you're already on your way to achieving your immigration. So contact us and we'll be happy to work with you. Okay, great. Thank you.